please help me welcome to the stage, Jeff Jamagami. Good morning, everybody. I have lost my voice. Uh, first, thing I want to say I'm so grateful to be here. Um, my life should have been totally different than it is. Um, and uh, I'm so grateful to New Skin. I'm so grateful to the people who took the chance to introduce us to this opportunity. Um, and uh, I'm so grateful to our team and, and the great friends we've made um, around the world of this business. Uh, my topic is, is belief, and it's actually a really easy topic and a really hard topic. Um, there's really three things you've got to believe in. It's, it's actually really simple. You've, you've got to first believe in the company and the industry. Uh, and when you first start out, um, that can be hard. Uh, you know, you, you're introduced to, a, to maybe an online video or someone, a friend sat with you, and you don't really know, is this real? Um, you don't feel the culture, the energy, the commitment. Of, of the corporate staff or, or the people who brought you in. And so um, it's easy to get this information. Now, you can look at where a public listed company, and you can see we're um, rated by Dun & Bradstreet or the 5A1 rating, and Forbes, you know, top, top five public listed companies in North America um, in, in mid-cap companies. And you can get this information. You can, you can, you can go out and visit the corporate headquarters, um, the new $100 million facility that Joe um, is, is going to have the pleasure of, of putting all his team in. So it's not too hard to get belief in the company. You have to take a bit of time, especially if you're new and you're helping new people bring, come into this company, you need to, to help them build that belief. The second belief is belief in the products. I don't think there's anything easier than having belief in the products. You try them, right? Um, when I first was introduced to New Skin, just over 20 years ago, um, it, was a, it was through the products. My, my, my previous wife um, was a nurse working in a hospital um, in, uh, in the U.S. And her girlfriend, Lucy, who is a Filipino nurse, one day just said to her, hey, would you like to try some hand lotion? And that started the chain reaction of events that led her, um, you know, to come over and my wife bought a few products or I met her. Then one day at the hospital, she said to her, um, to, uh, her she said to my wife, listen, your, your, skin's, your, your, skin, your husband's skin is so bad. I had a really terrible acne problem with my skin. I'd had it you know, from a teenager, and she recommended some products. My wife just brought this product home one day, and within a few weeks, my skin had cleared up. So it was really easy to have belief in the products. Um, as you try Galvanic Spawn, you have face demos. It's really easy to show people instantly and have belief in the products. The body spa on the back of the arms or a leg. Um, it's easy to, to try vi Vitality or R-squared, and um, within a, a matter of weeks, you start to, f start to feel different. Um, so belief in, in the company, belief in the products, pretty easy, right? What about the third belief? And that's belief in yourself. And I got to tell you, that's the one that stops most people. And I want to tell you... Um, you know, when I first heard about New Skin, I was young and kind of cocky and thought, you know, this, this is one of those pyramid things or this is one of those kind of companies and, and this will never work. And my wife had joined. She had got very enthusiastic. She joined. In fact, she came on one night with this box under her arms. It was 10 o'clock at night. She'd been invited to a pre In fact, she was invited five times to come to a presentation. And the first four times, she never turned up. Um, the last time her girlfriend came and picked her up from our apartment and took her to the presentation. Um, uh, don't give up on people. Um, so she ca came back that same night with a box under her arm and I was half asleep watching Bonanza on TV or something. Um, and what's in the box? And she starts pulling out, now this is 20 years ago, shampoo A and shampoo B um, and, and all this stuff. And I said to her, what's in, you know, what did you pay for all this? And, and how many of you are in a relationship? <laughs> well, I see a lot of single people out there. Um, you know, we had a disagreement about, about her purchasing at the time 500 US dollars of products, and we didn't have that money. 
we were broke. Um, you know, I had, I had uh, uh, basically, we, we'd lost all of our money. We were in debt, $70,000. We were living week to week, you know, and so she went and spent money on a credit card, money that we didn't have. And I slept on the couch for three nights. Um, I, I, this was the last thing I could see myself doing. And she kept saying, come along to a presentation. And, and I knew better. And in hindsight, I knew better because I didn't believe in myself. Do you know when people reject what you're showing them very quickly? Uh, Luella was talking about it. Where's she gone? Um, her friend who was so quick to say it'll never work. I guarantee you if we drill, drill, drill deep down into his subconscious, he doesn't believe in himself. People reject things they don't believe in. That's a shield. It's a, a, a front to say, up, hey, uh, you're not going to see what's really going on. And they'll fight for their opinion, for their, their point of view. And so I was like that. I was all cocky, this will never work, this is one of those things. And it wasn't until I went along to a few presentations and I started to, to see other people and I started to think, gosh, if they can do it, I can do it. And I didn't say any, that to anybody. You know, on the front is, you know, I'm so smart, you know. I wasn't so smart. Um, in fact, my whole life... Uh, I never believed in myself. On the outside, maybe. Oh, look, Jeff's so enthusiastic. But on the inside, you know, my whole life, from when I was little, I was criticized. I was never good enough. And so, as I grew up, I was never going to achieve what I, my potential was. I remember my father, you know, because he was academic, he spoke six languages and had, you know, spent 11 years in university getting his medical degree and all this stuff. You know, I was an academic. I was dyslexic. Now, they didn't call it dyslexia back then. They put you in a special reading program, you know, um, and, and, uh, and said, oh, he'll be okay, right? And so my whole life, I was never, you know, encouraged or, or, or built up or said, you can do it. It was always, why isn't it good enough? And we could spend a whole hour talking about that. We're not going to go into that because that's just... Can some of you relate to that, though? And so in my life, I had to work on the belief in myself. I went and got the... I remember one of those... I was shortly after joining Newskin, I went and was watching those infomercials at 2 o'clock in the morning or whatever they are, and there's Anthony Robbins, you know? And I went and bought that... I couldn't afford to go to his courses. I went and bought the, 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 the cassette tapes. And I listened to them over and over and over again. And I, I went and did courses. Um, we went, went and did landmark education and, and, and firewalking and every, we, everything we could do to try to, to change here. Because the company is real. Right? 75 scientists. I mean, I mean think about it. You know, 75 scientists. The, the product is real. Discovery Channel is doing a documentary about us. I mean... Is that wow or is that wow? wow? Is that a game changer? You have to work on yourself. Your income will only reach the level of your own self-belief. And if you're struggling in something and you've been, I had some people come to me the weekend and say, gosh, I, you know, I haven't gone as far as I wanted to go. I feel stuck. It's not the world out there. It's not that there aren't people looking for opportunities. It's not that there aren't people looking for great products and solutions to look better and feel better. It's something here. Something, he not here, here. And that's okay because once you discover that, you can change that, can't you? Could you read, could you read a little bit of a book every day? Could you put positive material in? Could you turn off the news? Don't watch the news. I can tell you what happened. I, I'm, I can tell you what happened in Australia today in the news. So there was some corruption in government. Some foreign country is doing something that, 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 that violates the civil rights of their, of their uh, citizens. Um, there's some sport where someone won and someone lost. The weather, they said it was sunny and it got cold or wet, or something. It's the same every day, isn't it? Eliminate it. If it's important, someone will tell you about it. You'll read it on Facebook or something. <laughs> Seriously, I'm not saying be ignorant of current events, but I'm saying that 
if I came into your living room and, and, and dumped a, a trashy, horrible, smelly garbage bag in your living room every day, would you be upset? That's what happens. You go, you go to sleep with that trashy, horrible, the world is so bad every night, and you wonder why you wake up and you program yourself over, over, while you're sleeping of all the terrible things that are going on. And then one day you wake up and think, oh, I guess my life isn't so bad. Maybe that job isn't so bad. I'll I'll settle. I'll just settle for what I've got. Michael talked about dreams. Right? Do you talk about dreams? Goals. Graham and Sophie talked about dreams and goals. You'll set those dreams, you'll set those goals, and you'll kind of settle. Right? And you've really gotta gotta work up here every day. Every day. Every minute. Uh, one of the things I learned in all these personal development courses was affirmations. Because we're all programmed. A little baby. I saw, there's some beautiful little babies I saw, um, a couple in our group. And, and, and those little babies, when they're brand new into the world, they are just empty little sponges waiting for information. Everything that you are today has been programmed. You've observed it and formed an opinion about it. Does that make sense? All the rights, all the wrongs, all the goods, all the bads, all the little voice in your head. How many of you have a little voice in your head that talks to you all the time? How many of you are saying, what little voice is he talking about? I don't have a little voice. I, I, I definitely have a little voice. What to, that's the voice I mean. The voice that talks to you all the time. Right? You've got to reprogram that. And one of the things you can do is positive affirmations. I'm going to share with you a couple I use. You can create anything you like for anything, and you can change your whole life with that. I'm a leader. I'm attracting leaders into my business. If I think it, I must do it. I'm a do-it-now person. I created that because I didn't believe I was a leader. I thought, oh, I just got into new skin, and, you know, it would just happen. If I, if I think it, I must do it, it's because I'm a procrastinator. So I had to reprogram that. I would put things off and put things off. Now I'm going to do it now. Person, if I think it, I have to do it. Whatever you want in your life, you can change if you're willing to, every day, keep saying those things to yourself. Every morning when you wake up, repeat 10 or 20 times. Every, every afternoon, every night before you go to bed, take your dream board out. Take your goals out and look at them every single day like Mike does in the shower. <laughs> I'm going to make a trip to Perth on, to go and see what's on it. I'm excited to see what's in the shower. <laughs> Who wants to go see what's in Mike's shower? <laughs> it's a whole new visualization for me. <laughs> Who wants to see what's in Joe Chang's shower? Oh my gosh. Um, so I thought right now for fun, um, and I've got a little video to play in a second, but why don't you all, um, just for fun, just, we'll just use my affirmation. You can change it to suit yourself. So repeat after me, you know. I'm a leader. I'm a leader. I'm attracting powerful leaders into my business. I'm attracting powerful leaders into my business. If I think it, I must do it. I'm a do it now person. Let's try it again with more passion. I'm a leader. I'm, a leader. I'm, attracting I'm attracting leaders into my business. If I think it, I must do it. I'm, I'm a do it now person. It'll change your life. It'll absolutely change your life. The last thing you have to do is keep, instead of watching the news and reading these negative things, put positive things into your mind all the time. And you can find it on YouTube, you can find all sorts of things. One of my leaders in my group, Allie, who's somewhere here, um, she um, showed this to me a few weeks. She played it at a training. I loved it, and so I went and copied it. I, I learned more from my downline than I They're more clever than I am. Um, so I wanted to, uh, Actually, before I do this, I, I just want to say there was one person who really believed in me, and that was my mother. Where is she at? Can, can you stand up?
Please do not go and see her today because all you'll do is she'll be so, so mother proud and it'll be embarrassing for me. But, um, but she did believe in me and she helped us loan us the money to actually start this business when we had nothing. When we had an old broken down Honda with mushrooms growing in the carpet and leaky sunroof and a little tiny, our whole house you could have felt in this stage with three kids sleeping on mattresses on the floor. We had nothing. We really, really, really had nothing. And um, I'm very grateful that she believed enough in us. It took six months, but eventually <laughs> she believed enough in me um, uh, to, to, to help fund our little getting started. Um, I want to cue this little video, and I hope you, uh, you find it um, powerful. And I hope you just continue to work on yourself um, and all your dreams come true. I want to see you guys cross the stage. I want to see you with the microphones. I need to retire. I'm getting old. Um, <laughs> And it's time for you guys to step up and be the new generation. So, cue video, please. Will you fight? No! We will run! And we will live! Shame on you! This could be the greatest night of our lives. But you're gonna let it be the worst. And I guarantee a week won't go by in your life. You won't regret walking out, letting them get the best of you. Well, I'm not going home. We've got too far! And I'm gonna stay right here and fight for this lost cause. A day may come when the courage of men fails, but it is not this day. The line must be drawn here, this far, no farther. I'm not saying it's gonna be easy. You're gonna work harder than you ever worked before. But that's fine, we'll just get tougher with it. If a person grits his teeth and shows real determination, Failure is not an option. That's how winning is done. Believe me when I say we can break this army here. And win just one for the Gipper. But I say to you, what every warrior has known since the beginning of time, you've got to get mad. I mean plum mad dog mean. If you would be free men, then you must fight to fulfill that promise. Let us cut out their living guts one inch at a time. And they will know what we can do. <laughs> Let no man forget how menacing we are. We are lions. You're like a big bear, man. This is your time. Seize the day. Never surrender. Victory or death. Watch the Chicago. Who's with me? Clap. Clap. Don't let the team die. Clap. All right, let's fly. I'm gentlemen in England. Now I bet. Shall we? Thank you very much.